This is the debris asset, and uh, it's kind of a unscripted tutorial, so let's just see if we can get through it. This is a dynamic rig, and when you're dealing with dynamics, the tendency is to make things complex. I've gone the opposite way. I've tried to simplify things. The end result is you don't have a lot of fine control over the behavior of particles, but what you do have is a very easy-to-use rig. The attributes that this rig have here are wood, wood bits, and concrete. They'll, those just control the three types of bits that can get shot out of this uh, particle cannon. So let's just give it a shot. Position it somewhere, rewind, and hit play. And you can see the behavior is you know, pretty straightforward. It shoots out bits of wood, and it shoots out bits of concrete. And these guys will bounce with other nucleus objects that you have in the scene. There's two different types of shapes in this rig. You've got uh, a N, you've got this wood here, which is an N cloth. So these will bounce around like normal. And then everything else is an N particle, which means they will bounce like spheres. So you want to kind of minimize the detail on everything that's not these big pieces of wood. I tried my best to make them, you know, react to their implied radius, but in an effort to keep things running quickly, you know, you have to make a choice. Some of the shapes will bounce normally, and some of them will be end particles. So to use the rig, what you want to do is choose a start frame and an end frame. That's basically when the when the uh, gun is on and off, and uh, you want to set the magnitude, which is how hard it's going to shoot out, and then you've got your gravity, the rate. If I set this to something really low, you'll see that the bits will have a very low count. There we go. It's only shooting out 10 per second. So, oh, these uh, these bits of wood, you will always have the same nine pieces. The end particles, their count will be based on the rate that they get shot out. But this, being an end cloth, uh, you can't instance end cloth. So this is always going to have these nine pieces that you see here. So that's the difference between using end cloth and using a particle. You've also got the bounce and the friction and the seed. And the seed changes the dynamic properties so that if you have multiple rigs in one scene, you, know, you don't want them all to be firing in the same way. You just change the seed and that changes that too. It also changes the shader of each of the of each of the objects. So you know you can see how that works here. So changing the seed will give you a slightly different shader. Shaders are all Lambert, nothing too complicated. It's designed with it in mind that you might want to wire in your own shader, and you can do that. So that is basically all there is to the rig. There's one more attribute here called Use Plane. If you don't want to make collision objects and you just want to collide with the ground, just turn that on, hit play, and you can see what that behavior looks like.